हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ माय एट्थ लेक्चर इन सिग्नल सिस्टम सीरीज माय नेम इज़ निष्ठा वर्मा द टॉपिक व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू कवर ड्यूरिंग दिस लेक्चर विल बी द गेट नुमेरिकल बेस्ड ऑन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सिग्नल्स अ फर्स्ट नुमेरिकल इट इज गिवन दैट इफ अ सिग्नल एफ टी हैज एनर्जी ई द एनर्जी ऑफ द सिग्नल फॉर एफ इज इक्वल टू दे हैव गिवन फोर ऑप्शन In this numerical, we know that energy is equal to limit t tending to infinity minus infinity to infinity f t square d t. So here they are making f two t means time scaling they are doing. So you can say it is f e one t e two t is they have given limit t tending to infinity. माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी एफ टू टी होल स्क्वेर डी टी सो लेट टू टी इज इक्वल टू एक्स सो यू कैन से दैट टू डी टी इज इक्वल टू डी एक्स अपूरिंग द वैल्यू इन सेकेंड इक्वेशन दिस इज फर्स्ट इक्वेशन सो यू कैन से दैट ई टू इज इक्वल टू लिमिट टी टेंडिंग टू इन्फिनिटी Minus infinity to infinity. Now you can write f x whole square d x by two. When you place d x, it will become d x by two. So you can also write it as limit t tending to infinity minus infinity to infinity f x whole square d x. If you compare equation one and two, you can say that e two is equal to even by two. So your correct answer is B option. Now here it is given a function is given by f t sine square t plus cos two t. and you have to find the which option is true they have given the frequency what will be the frequency first we can solve it ft is equal to you know that sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2t by 2 plus cos 2t so you can write it as if you solve it you will get 1 plus cos 2t by 2 so you can see over here One signal you are getting DC signal. One by two is a DC signal, so obviously DC signal has zero frequency. So you have to find the frequency for this component. So first of all, we will find the time period. Time period is nothing equal to t equal to two pi by omega, where omega is two over here. So you are getting pi. So if you, time period is pi, so frequency will become one by t. That is equal to one by pi. So you can see that uh, in Option, sorry, in not in option C, in option B, the frequency is zero and one by pi. So option uh, correct option is option B. Now, uh, third numerical, a discrete time signal is given to you, and you have to check whether the different periods are given. And last option is non-periodic. See, if it is, if it would be continuous time signal, that is x t equal to sine. Square, uh, sine pi square t. Then in that case, it would be a periodic signal only. There is no doubt about it. But when the discrete signal comes, because here the discrete signal is there, then in this case you have to check whether the signal is periodic or not. Because uh, if you remember, we used to find n that is equal to two pi by omega, where n is a number of samples present. Per period, you can say that in discrete time signal, number of periods. It should be integer value because number of samples in one period should be integer value. So if you will find capital N over here, you are getting two pi by omega is pi square over here. So n value you are getting pi pi will be cancelled. Two by pi you are getting. So in discrete, in case of discrete value. 
uh, one small n is also multiplied over here it means that if you put any integer value to make this ratio integer then the final value will be periodic but here because it is pi so no integer value is present which can make this ratio an integer value that's why you can say that this signal is non-periodic signal so the last d option is correct now the power of the signal you have to find in case of power power is nothing but if two different signal with different frequencies are given to you in that case you have to find the rms value that is suppose it is a a rms square it is a magnitude divided by r plus b rms whole square by r here it is uh, rms value is a by root 2 whole square by r plus b by root 2 whole square by r so you can say that here r value equal to 1 and a value is 8 so 8 by 2 8 square by 2 plus 4 square by 2 so it become 64 64 by 2 plus 16 by 2 2 3 is a 6 2 2 is a 4 2 8 is a 16 so it become 40 the power will be 40 so correct answer is first option now fifth here the function is given to you and uh, they are asking that uh, to find the e uh, even and odd part of ut signal you know that how ut signal look like ut signal is this one and you also re remember even part is nothing but xt plus x minus t by 2 so if it is xt x minus t will be mirror image so this is u minus t so if you will add these two signal and divide the magnitude by 2 definitely the signal which you will get will be having a magnitude half because why this is one magnitude this is one magnitude because uh, from minus t to 0 here in this signal the magnitude is 1 but here it is 0 so 0 plus 1 divided by 2 will be half in the same way in this signal positive side the signal is present here the, the positive signal is missing so 1 plus 0 will be again half so the total magnitude will become 1 by 2 you can say that it is an even part now in case of odd part if you remember the formula is xt minus x minus t by 2 so if you um, because you are having uh, u minus t so you know that how u minus u minus t will look like it will definitely come at the negative axis 0 so now if you have to add this signal with this signal because here again um, the magnitude is 0 here minus magnitude is there when you will divide it by half it will it will become minus half so the magnitude you will get 1 by 2 in the same case here positive signal is there here it is missing so the magnitude will be plus half so this will be your odd signal so you can check a option is correct because in first case half the magnitude dc signal and in second here half of this magnitude you are getting so a is the correct option now which of the following signal are periodic if you remember the condition of periodic signal was that time period the ratio of the time period should be rational number uh, rational number so in first case you will see t1 is equal to 2 pi by omega that is equal to 2 pi by 2 that is pi and t2 is equal to 2 pi by omega that is 2 pi by 3 and t3 is equal to 2 pi by 5 so if you will find the ratio t1 by t2 will become pi upon 2 pi into 3 pi pi will be cancelled 3 by 2 you will get 
in the same way t1 by t3 you can find you will get 2 pi by 3 multiplied by 2 pi will come in the denominator and 5 will come 2 pi by 2 pi will be cancelled so you will get 5 by 3 so here you can say both are rational numbers so obviously first signal is periodic signal in second it is exponential complex exponential single one signal is there so definitely it is periodic here you can he, here you have to check uh, in this case in c option t1 you are getting 2 pi by 7 and uh, t2 you are getting 2 pi by 10 pi so pi pi will be cancelled 1 by 5 it is so when you will calculate the ratio you will get 2 pi by 7 multiplied by uh, here um, 1 over here 5 so you are getting pi term over here so definitely it is not a rational number so second one is not a periodic signal in third case in d case uh, suppose t1 is equal to 2 pi by 2 and t2 is equal to 2 pi by 4 so it is pi and it is pi by 2 so when you find the ratio you will get pi upon pi into 2 so pi pi will be cancelled and uh, two value will get so definitely this is also a periodic signal so only c option is not correct otherwise a b and d are periodic signal so in next lecture i'm going to start a new topic that is classification of system in which i will discuss about linear and non-linear system time invariant and time variant system and causal and non-causal system thank you